Man, I love videos of characters with designs. I don't know, I just enjoy watching different people's opinions on certain media and how I would like to change or improve it in their vision. And I always wanted to make one of my own, but I don't really have any media of character designs. I don't li oh, she oh, right. So we all know about Weavers and Genshin Impact, and being completely honest, I don't like most of their designs. But when Honker Star Rail came out with different aesthetics and not so bad costumes for the characters? Like, I didn't hate most of those. So I've decided why not to try to redesign them myself. I'm not a professional and my goal here is to just have fun and also make those designs more easier for me to draw. And hey, if you like the original designs, good for you. I'm not trying to insult someone's opinion. Just let's be reasonable and don't fight over pixels on the screen, okay? To everyone out there who's being attacked by a bear right now, I think you're gonna make it out of this. Remember, don't run, it only entices- I love Natasha very much, and her character design is not that bad. She's a medic and also the leader of Wildfire, which is super cool. She's smart, kind, and will do a lot for her people. Natasha also used to work at the orphanage before the whole plot started. And you can clearly see all this in her costume. And that's great! Until we see the obvious sexualization that is not needed for her character. Anyway, I'm gonna stop myself right there. So in this fragment I was going to talk about how uh, sexualization in certain characters uh, may look good. Listening to it now, I understand that uh, the right word that I was going for was fan service because uh, looking back to Natasha, I don't think she has like the most awful character design. No, no, again, I like her, but uh, you can tell that in, in the process of creating her, the creators went, oh wait, we need to show boobs, maybe even ass, and they just uh, made this sort of ad adjustments, but which which looks silly <laughs> and and this is the thing what I didn't like initially so I just removed it okay uh, going back to my old self so instead I decided to just remove those elements no more boob window goodbye but everything else is just a minor tweaks here and there I also made her teddy bear a lot smaller. Sure, her ultimate with her just throwing it in the air and shooting it is kind of hilarious to me. But carrying that huge thing behind your back can be tiring. Uh, I also left her weird glass thing because adding that green color to other parts of the costume and not just her neck looks coherent and it's also cool. And this is her finished redesign. As I said, I didn't change much besides the obvious holes in her design, and I just wanted to simplify it her for my sanity's sake. Oh, and talking about holes in the design... People are constantly asking me, what's it like to be a sex <laughs> He's one of the consequences of me liking Shones and how he ruined my taste in them. This is all because of you! Okay, but actually I like Sapa's design. I saw some people complaining about his color palette, but I don't know, I think it's good. The only complaint I have is the purple of his, like, knife piggy is one out of place thing, but at the same time it's not that distracting. But if I like his look, then why is he in the video? Uh, well, instead of giving him a redesign, I decided to give him a second costume instead. Because he's one of the characters who we know spends time outside of Battlebook, and his ass is not prepared for that ever at all. It's a miracle that he didn't get a frostbite by the time we found him, in a freaking snow pile! So, at least he needs clothes that looks warm. I was inspired by this art and also his Halloween artwork. I gave him a cloak which is not so different from his regular jacket, but warmer. <sighs> and unfortunately with no hip holes. Yes, in this case I'm not always very just about this because look at him, he's a whore and a stupid whore at that, so like it suits him to be walking like that everywhere, but also like, no, please don't, for your own health. So the costume is more closed off, uh, but uh, yeah, 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 I, I still give him a boop hole. 
because he deserves it more than Natasha. And also, you can see it in the pose, but I also gave him a pair of animal ears to his hood because because it's just good. The funniest thing to me about the costume is how he would put it on. In a sense, but we will never see that. I just imagine it's like some scene from a sitcom where a character wears one thing, then the camera cuts to another person, and then it cuts back to the first character, and they're just wearing a different thing entirely. I think it's fun, I like it. <laughs> and at that, Sampa is done. Not very different from his original look, but I didn't want to change that much anyway. But that... Couldn't be said about the last character. Okay. Remember what I said in the beginning of the video about being respectful and not hating each other just because we have different opinions. Yeah, I still stand by it. And if you like these characters, th that's great. I'm happy for you. But I fucking hate Zilly. Oh my fucking god. I hate Zilly in every way possible. And her costume is the epicenter of her problems for me. Her character archetype already isn't one of my favorites. Her being stern and unfriendly to anyone and her general mood being. What is the meaning of this? She still thinks she's an overworld princess. You're always so serious. It really gets on people's nerves sometimes, you know? What was that all about? <laughs> Do you even hear yourself? Uh, how old are you again? Wow, wow, wow. So annoying. Annoyed or angry. Already isn't appealing, at least to me. But this whole thing elevates to another level with her outfit. Because I just can't take her seriously with this clown ass outfit. She isn't struggling with surviving under the surface while fighting various monsters. No! He's just on her way to a swimsuit competition, do you see what I mean? But not only that, the color palette also doesn't make much sense! So Belpa characters mostly use white and cold blue colors, while the underground use more muted, dark, warm colors. So explain to me why someone who hates the overworld and really cares about her people doesn't actually wear the color of her people! This video is really getting steamy, I'm sorry, but I do hate her. And she was the hardest to redesign because her original feet is so out there that I just couldn't come up with something better. I'm not even that happy with the redesign, but it's hard when you draw characters that you hate and then actually have to understand them, like, nah. <sighs> but I've tried my best. I really have. Her outfit is atrocious, I'm sorry. It's not good for just casual wear, not talking about fighting. Like, she looks like she came from the beach after several sharks tried to eat her and then only clothes that were left is a swimsuit and a tiny little shorts. Oh my god, why are they like that? So instead, I was actually kinda inspired by Lucas' costume. It got that street vibe that I wanted to include in Zilly's look, especially the sleeveless jacket. Yeah, but looking at it now, it looks plain. Sure, it was my intent to simplify the designs, but maybe I could have added more. Like, I don't know, embroidery from Mat Natasha or something from the malls. It would show her connections to everybody and what she cares. Instead of those little shirts, I gave her a normal pair of pants so she could walk without any discomfort. And also boots and some bandages, mostly on her arms, to represent how she will fight anything, even through her pain or something like that. The other biggest change is her hair. It's a little comic to me how we went all out with the outfit but gave her normal looking unbrushed hair. So I wanted to experiment, even if it didn't turn out how I wanted. One of her motives is butterflies, which completely left my mind when I started making her outfit. And I will give credit to the original that in some capacity it treats like butterfly. But I wanted to do something with her hair, so I tried to shape them like lower butterfly wings and the upper wings represented as this thing. I don't know how to call it. So, as I've said before, her color palette doesn't match with her surroundings. So I've changed it to much darker tones, removing all of the whites and cold colors. 
This will make her feel like she's one with the underground city, but not blending in completely because of her purples, what give her main character TM energy. I still left some neon bright colors in some areas, like her hair, because it looks cool, and added it to her jeans? What is it actually? I don't know, but it looks cool. Also, I saw some posts about Sampo and Sally having a similar colors, and because of that they look like siblings. And I showed my friends the redesigns and they said the same thing. So I just wanted to keep that detail in touch because I think that Sampo would drop it into her and she would hate it. And I think it's fun. <laughs> so with that, the final redesign is finished. As I said before, I'm not entirely happy with how it turned out. But at least I like it more than the original. I mean, that was my main intent. And that's it. I'm gonna say it was fun making new clothes for those guys and I would like to make more. If you want, of course. And if my schedule will allow that. Most likely. No, but we'll see. We'll see. So thank you for watching. If you really want to see another one of those redesign videos from me, please let me know by smashing like button or leaving a comment, especially a comment. I really want to see your opinions or maybe your own uh, takes on the characters and how you would change a character or something. I'm really interested in that. Maybe subscribing? Who knows? Maybe. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching uh, and I hope you have a good day. Yeah, uh, bye.